Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. And this is going to be for your monthlies. This is going to be love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful dolls, let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to talk, first talk about your love life, then career and finance, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know, that you need to like help you with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's gonna happen to my Cancer's romantic love life? Give me nine cards, my Cancer's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Cancer's career and finance for now until the end of June. Excuse me, for the month of June. <laughs> Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so someone is really adoring you, that's for sure. They think that everything you do is perfect to them. Okay. But the, see at the bottom of the deck, there's very strong heartache and sadness here in Cancer. So this is going to be the beginning of the month of June, the middle of June, and the end of June. So someone really wants to regain your confidence, your courage, your strength. Uh, they feel like... They want you to make, they want to make you feel comfortable with them. What's going to have my Cancer's Rancic Love Life? Give me nine cards, my Cancer's Rancic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Cancer's Career and Finance for the month of June. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yep, someone is trying to make some strong power moves to you, okay? What's gonna have my cancer? Romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my cancer's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my cancer's career and finance for the month of June. Show my cards need to see. Show my cards need to see. This can represent a landowner, uh, someone who is like the owner of a business, okay? Or it's just showing this person is making very strong moves toward you. Could be someone you work with as well. But let's get more information. Mm hmm. Star card energy shows me hopefulness. Also, let's talk about the stars can be like online. So you may be connecting with this person online for some of you guys or uh, something about this nighttime energy, which makes sense because that's what I felt like when this person was adoring you. I feel like they were noticing you in some kind of scene and it was something to do with nighttime energy. So that's interesting. Let's come up my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Cancer's Career in Finance. For the month of June, show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. This is uh, someone who has some expectations, or there's been expectations of two to three months, all right, in this situation. What's going on by Cancer's romantic love life for the month of June? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to Mm -hmm. They don't know where they stand with you. They have a lot of uncertainty. So you can see already this person, right? Yeah, and here I hear the universe out there saying, I want to get going on this, Cancer. Okay, so they're, they want you to feel confident in them. Okay, so they're making some power moves towards you. What it, and I know you guys are going to hit me up in the comments. What's power moves mean? Okay. You're not gonna know, you're not going to be confused about where this person stands because they're just gonna take those actions of love that's like, no, yeah, this person's really interested, okay? And I see this hopeful signs in this two, three month wait, and we see they're still really uncertain where they stand with you. This person, uh, this, there's a person around this situation that feels like my hands are tied, it's nothing I can do about it, I'm trapped in my situation, right? That kind of energy. And there's advice being gotten here about these finances. And going further here, did we do Lenormand next? Yeah, I did Lenormand next, okay. There's something about this friendship. Okay, something about this friendship. And this ex-partner, this infringing partner, this karmic that's causing uncertainty. 
but something is about to end here with this situation, okay, with the death card. And this person is so sad and upset. And there's something about this finance, this stability, this stableness, and now we see this blessing coming in, right? It's time. There's some kind of divine blessing, some kind of miracle coming in for you guys. And it seems like you're not the only sign either. There's something going on in the first two, uh, first, first half of June and the second half of June. There is some divine stuff going on, some blessings, uh, although we do know that Jupiter is in Taurus. And yeah, uh, and then also there's other planets that are moving in some good positions here. So it's definitely aligning with astrology here. Okay, so yep, there's movement towards some type of this commitment, this engagement, this marriage situation. And this person's concerned, I don't want to miss an opportunity with you, Cancer. And we see single and available to pursue. And we see this very deep love, so like, I love you, I love you. Again, we're seeing this really strong like stance on this situation, like, I love you. And you're gonna get knowledge book card energy of this good news about love, Page of Cups energy. And I see that there's a sister, daughter, friend, or karmic around this situation. Yep, we see main person, and this concerns about somebody who's like doing some sly stuff around uh, against someone or behind someone's back there. I don't like to talk about those kinds of readings, but I mean, it just feels that way to me, okay? And this is leaving you at a crossroads about what to do, because there's some secrets here, or some concerns that there's some kind of secret. We see the Emperor card energy. Uh, there could be a father around this, or a boss, or work situation, or just this person's, because we got multiple emperors here. Multiple, we got one there, one there, one there. It's like this want to control things, because Emperor talks about controlling, right? Wanting to like, no, where do I stand? Tell me where I stand. I really want to make, make a point to this, you know? I want to get back to my routines here. I want structure, I want order. And we see again this infringing party, this karmic energy here. And we do see this sly slick energy going on when it comes to the main person. Because this causes some family conflict here. Hmm. <laughs> so it's like there's a, there's a great connection forming with you and this person, but it's just like there's some people working behind the scenes here. Yeah, I see this uncertainty because this karmic partner and this commitment and knowledge of these indecisions about family conflict. Okay, so the truth coming out here by the end of the month, and it's something you've been waiting for, and we see there's going to be this frustration, argument, fight about giving this giving, and a lot of soul searching going on, a lot of soul searching going on about the situation. I see someone's really attached to you, obsessive, can't let you go kind of energy with the devil card. And they're like, um, I'm foolish about this, Cancer. You know, there's something about this romance and I wanna be with you. And I wanna bring things into balance, I wanna fix this. Okay, so there's uncertainty and trying to gain knowledge and we see a lot of soul searching going on and we see this infringing party. And I feel like for some of you, it could be a father around this or, or, or an older brother or something or both. Uh, also, there is a feminine energy around it, too, as well. Um, yeah, there's some family stuff coming up here, that's for sure, but, you know, we are dealing with the, the Taurus energy, so uh, you guys, I know, are, you know, Cancer, but there's some significant planets in Taurus, so Taurus has to do with family, so that makes sense. So there's uh, some things coming into balance here, or trying to be patient for things to come into balance, okay. So someone's like desperately, I wanna hold on to you, Cancer. I just wanna be with you, okay? We see this commitment, this obligation, and this concerns about these indecisions. And someone's like so desperate, they're like, I'm desperate, I just wanna hold on to you, I wanna hang on to you, I just wanna just work this out, I wanna fix this. You know, there's a blessing here, it's time, okay? So again, we see this blessing card again coming in. This blessing card's coming in again. So the central theme of what's going on with this month is there some indecisions, and why? Because of some kind of secrets or unknowns with family conflict, okay? 
you're trying to figure out what you want here. You're doing some soul searching. There's this blessing about this commitment. We see this infringing party could be a family member, friend, or karmic, and knowledge about this healing energy and trying to deal with this family conflict, okay? Okay, going further here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, I see you guys have to make a decision. Single and available to pursue, or isolation or separation, happiness. There's a hard, hard conversation about this letter message document and making the wisest decision when it comes to this friendship and new love. And the strong chemistry and passion and the shock and surprise about, you know, giving this some time, right? So there's this two to three month wait and we see someone who's trying to assert their power here. And we see there's a, a giving energy and we see it could be a brother around this as well. And we see some slice like energy to the main male or a main person. And there's this blessing and we see main person and the sense of despair. Okay. So I see this hopefulness about love and I'm fighting for this loyalty, devotion, friendship, and we see main person, and we see romance and a sense of stability. But someone who is causing some sly, slick energy going on here is that's what's causing the indecisions. There's some, some people around this is causing some indecisions. It's like there, there's certainty about like, okay, I'm in love with you, I wanna be with you, but these other family members are what's causing the issue here. All right, so again, we see could be a father, older brother, or like, uh, you know, someone who's trying to assert themselves. Um, I want to help you with this. I've been waiting for this. There's advice being gotten here. We see sister, daughter, friend, karmic, and we see something that's, there's some, somebody that feels really foolish about the sadness about this infringing party in this commitment. All right, so... Regaining the confidence and concerns about missing this opportunity and speaking a truth about somebody who feels like their hands are tied. There's good news and love, and we see this strong attachment, strong obsessive energy to end the situation when it comes to this sense of control or wanting to m take control of the situation to hold on to it, Four of Pentacles energy. The central theme shows there's good news and love coming in and regaining confidence, speaking the truth and holding on to a situation and making sure that something is over when it comes to this, like stuck energy is over. Concerns about missing an opportunity with this love connection, okay? Asserting someone, this could be a father, or older brother, all right? And speaking a truth about these desires, basically, because the devil card energy is here and holding on to this situation for pentacles energy. So someone's taking a stand, okay? Someone is taking a stand for love. All right. Can I have some advice for my Cancer's romantic love life? For the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them in the month of June. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. You got confirmation coming in, right? We saw multiple blessings cards, multiple spiritual signs here, multiple potentials for miracles here. So guys, pay attention to the signs. Letter message document ends a situation so you can take a risk. Get ready to have fun and be at peace and harmony and give this some time in your energy when it's, you say hello again. You're going to achieve something here. So yes, it's going to be successful. There are miracles coming in for you guys. You're going to be able to hold on to this love connection because someone is like, I don't want to let this go, right? Even though there is some factors here, you know, the blessings are coming in. It's good timing. So it's not going to, uh, it's not going to be a negative effect because we got Jupiter energy in there. So wheel of fortune energy is Jupiter energy and Jupiter is a benefic planet. And so it's bringing blessings to the situation that may otherwise have not turned out that way, but it's, there's going to be miracles and blessings coming in here, which is going to turn the situation around in your favor. Okay. So let's move into your career and finance cancer. So cancer, you are making really good decisions you're, uh, when it comes to things that you love. You're, you're taking control of this. You're taking leadership roles and you're making some impulsive decisions with the Knight of Wands energy because you're like ready to walk away from another situation with the Eight of Cups. 
or you could be avoiding an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. Okay, you're really in a good mood, happy, joyful at the beginning of the month here. There's some kind of meeting, conference, socializing happening here. And uh, you're not wanting to deal with this aspect of this situation when it comes to this conference, this meeting, these people. You are getting uh, recognition, or more or less this card is a blessing, uh, fortune. And we see that some, uh, something about an older masculine around this situation and travel. And then going further here. Okay, this can be a, a building, a corporate building, okay, office building, some kind of, a lot of money, okay. Long time, house, home, building. Okay, some of you guys may be doing some traveling here. Obviously, we st you started traveling here. But definitely some traveling here with a chariot card energy towards a new situation. We see this far away, distant energy. And we see good news. So there's some politics to be played here and some truths being spoken about the situation. And we see someone's like, I need your help because I'm trapped in this situation or I feel like my hands are tied. Let's have this conversation. There's an offer presented here, Ace of Pentacles energy. And we see a surprise. And this concerned about bad news, but things actually change for the better with the store card energy. So there's a sense of independence here and a long time energy, patience, we see this house or home and good news about this conversation and changing. Now, you, you guys could be moving or changing locations because that does specify that sometimes with the store card energy. But if that's not the case, it's saying you're having positive change come in. So three of wands energy, this is something you've been waiting for. And you're doing something from before, something or you're, you're reconnecting with somebody from before at the end of the month here. We see this work situation. You're really getting some work done. And there is some, some stress or worries here, but you're really growing a situation towards your abundance and you're getting noticed and attention and you're recovering from this situation when it comes to travel, okay? See, a nine of cups is like saying, Cancer, you are gonna fulfill your desire here and get it what you want. There's some thoughts and plans around this situation. We see this, this interview or this meeting coming up um, and we see there's this confusion. What's this confusion about? Okay, main person. So you're focused on getting what you want, but there may be some, uh, you may not get the results of whatever that meeting is right away here by the end of the month. Maybe a cliffhanger there. Okay, so for, for the next month there. So I see that there is this sense of independence and good news, but worries and concerns and trying to be patient. And we see a conversation and we see traveling to this this building, this house, this real estate, and a change of location, and this needing some clarity from this masculine energy. All right, so I see this blessing, and I see this long road, two-year wait, and we see work situation. We see someone, uh, older masculine, or someone's giving good advice about this stuck energy and how to fix it when it comes to travel. And I see that there's this concern about, you know, getting some bad news when it comes to this uh, meeting or interview here. Okay. So it's like you you don't really find out the results of yet, but I'm going to go down a couple layers to see what happens with that. Okay. There's a happiness about this new situation and you're reconnecting with somebody from before. There's some kind of socializing happening. It's like, I need your help with this. You're getting a lot of attention. Somebody's feeling bad. They're surprised about the situation and thoughts or plans. So yeah, so you are, you're getting an offer here and it's something that you do want and it's something you've been waiting for. So let's go down a little bit further and see how this meeting goes. Let's see. So you're very attractive, like, okay. You're gonna be doing some juggling of a decision to a pentacles energy and getting some advice about it. There's gonna be some self-doubt or wary and concerns. We see there's contemplation about the long-term, but we see sun card shows happiness and success, so that's good. Okay, 
So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my cancers when it comes to the Korean finance for the highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? For the month of June, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, when it comes to Korean finance, okay, just be nice. <laughs> Trust in the process here. All right, it's no, there's nothing to be sad about. Just stay in the peace of mind here when it comes to these air mysteries around the situation, okay? Space yourself from that. Look to before, look into before, okay? So a lot of times when we don't know the answer to something, we can look to the past and realize, okay, I've experienced that before, I know how to handle that. And surrender to the situation when it comes to your anxiety and worry. I know there's a sense of protective, cautious energy here, right? Proceeding with caution, but have faith, okay? Prayers do help with the situation. Okay, so let's take a look at what do you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know cancer that could help you. What does cancer need to know spiritually that they don't know that you need to know can help them with their situation for the month of June? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, you know what's best for you. You have a lot of life experience, okay? And you are the authority here. You have a lot to be thankful for, a lot to be grateful for. In this situation that you're dealing with in the current, look beyond immediate appearances. It's not exactly what it seems. And you're going to get where you need to get to here. You're gonna get what you want. But focus on healing and forgiveness this month. And it shows me that you are being protected at all times. So for me, it shows me guardian angels, ancestors. You're gonna be able to make this decision. Yes, you've made some mistakes, but you've learned from them. So dig into completion, get it done. I know that there is a sense of being very defensive and cautious about your situation. And when we feel that way, we're in a place of like, okay, I, I don't know if I wanna move forward because I'm, I'm, I'm too cautious about it. So put cautious to the wind this time, all right? And clear out the clutter. It's, it's time to follow your soul's path. Because you know, the most difficult thing sometimes is following our soul's path. And I know from my own experience, from my background, I don't know if you guys know my background, right? I went to school. I have a computer science background, accounting background, right? And then I have my spiritual awakening while I'm going to graduate school, getting my CPA. <laughs> okay, and imagine that when <laughs> I broke the news to my family about <laughs> all those things, okay? And then even after that, I went, became, and did a nonprofit, and then went to, you know, do food manufacturing, and now I'm YouTube. So sometimes following our spiritual path, it may not be what our family, our friends may expect us to do but we have to honor what we come here to do. We have a bigger purpose and we should follow our bigger purpose because we're gonna kick ourselves when we go back to the other side. We're like, why did I not do it? Now I have to come back and do it again, ah. <laughs> so, but of course, my darlings, you don't have to follow my advice if you don't want to, all right? Follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You guys know what's best for you, all right? And if you like this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.